Hello and welcome to this auction video for this Peugeot 308 on a 59 plate. It's got over 100, I think it's not like 126,000 miles on the clock. Um, I've just had a drive up and down the dual carriageway and it's not a bad drive actually. Uh, it is a bit smoky. It's putting out a little bit of smoke. It's not really showing much on the camera. A little bit smelly but nothing horrendous um, and not bad little car actually considering its mileage let me just double check that mileage before we go any further yeah 126,000 miles okay so let's have a look uh, I wouldn't describe this one as being in a1 condition it's very dirty inside although it has cleaned up not too bad on the wash bay um, it could definitely benefit for some more work but let's go around the exterior for now and see what damage we can find um, a little bit of the uh, under arch um, I don't know what you call this is is hanging down a bit the inner arch bits falling down a little bit but it's not gonna fall out uh, there's been some scuffs on this side here on the front bumper this looks like it might be even bird's muck or something some general scratches and pit, pitting. Both the headlights are quite faded. They're probably gonna need polishing up. Um, I'm not sure if uh, they will polish up or not though. Uh, you've got scratches there on the front balance all around. Lots of pitting, lots of scratches. And uh, yeah, please do study the photos. I've taken lots of photos here. Again, more um, scratches here and scuffing along the left hand side the bonnet and front end is, is just quite marked up in general um, there's some chips here and there and this paintwork looks uneven as well uh, if you can see that I don't think that is the cloud reflection I think that is literally the paintwork so it's had a paint job and not a very good one at some point by looks of it um, so what else have we got scuffs down this side going all the way onto the door and yeah that is going to be all the way along here and there's more general scratches the mirror is all scratched up another scratch a lot of dirt on this this car was very very dirty but it has cleaned up a bit better but could benefit from some more cleaning again uh, let's see what else we got some more scratches on the doors I would say there's probably not a panel that hasn't been scratched um, some more damage there on the door area there but doesn't seem to affect the uh, affect the um, usage of the door so that seems okay and uh, more dents here more scratches more missing paint and some more scratches around the side here more on the bumper on here and some more on the middle of the bumper here some more again all around this area again looks like it's had an impact in this area uh, the boot has have definitely had an impact as well that's well vented in as you can see and uh, yeah some more scratches on the back bumper on the back uh, of the car here as well uh, where else the doors more scratches another bit of impact here at some point um, yeah, your usual wear and tear, scratches around the handles, mirrors again. And yeah, that brings us back to here. So let's have a look at the wheels. I've taken a photo of all of the wheels. So please do study the photos if you need to see more info on that. Another one here. And that's our last wheel. Right, let's have a look on the inside. Let's have a look in the boot. Okay, so the boot stays up and supports its own weight, so that's a good thing. Let's look in the back here. And yes, yeah, dirty-ish, could benefit from more work. This has been on a wash bay and they've they've washed this mat, so it's very heavy with water and very wet in here at the moment. But there is a full-size spare and a tool kit in there. Um, it's getting a bit more smoky again now. So yeah, there's a bit of a smoker, this one, guys. Uh, Electro windows all round, they all work. I've tested all, tested all those. And as you can see, it can benefit from more cleaning up in here. Um, it was actually worse, but it's uh, looking better than it was when we first had it. So yeah, that's that side. Let's have a look on the other side. 
another electric window. That one works fine, I've tested it already. And uh, rear seats there, all good. And let's have a look here. This uh, electric window works again. Interior, as I say, can benefit from more work in here. Uh, it's had a quick clean up. Um, we have a few MOTs. I can't see any service history on this one. Let me take you into the driver's seat. And the door card looking okay, although these uh, switches are all looking rather uh, dirty, to say the least, as is the driver's seat. Passenger seat, not so bad. Anyway, let's have a sit in. Okay, let's turn all the lights off take the handbrake off and we have no warning lights and a mileage of 126,379 miles. We've got aircon as well, switch that off and uh, trip computer, five gears. And yeah, it's all rather wet in here. This has been uh, cleaned up. A couple of old MOTs, uh, nothing really much on here. Telling me that the fuel is low now, which it should be because it's been running a little while. And uh, let me take you for a little look. Yeah, fuel light is on now. So let's have a look underneath the bonnet. Well, that was then. Right, let's have a look under the bonnet. Okay. Under the bonnet. Sorry. Okay, so a little bit dirty and dusty, a little bit of oil. Looks like maybe that uh, top rocker cover gasket might be leaking oil, but I wouldn't really know to be honest with you. I'm not a mechanic. So very dirty, very dusty. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's that one. Alright, guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and uh, wish you the best of luck on video. Thank you.